Hello, I'm Kelly Roberts and welcome to Quick Fix Stability Ball Workout. Using a stability ball in your workout routine is a great way to stabilize the torso and work the rest of the body at the same time. This particular program is broken into three 10 minute segments, lower body, upper body and the abs and back. So you can do just the section that exercises a specific body region or you can do all three and get a great total body workout. And you can keep your eye on the time by watching the quick fix countdown clock. For this workout, you'll need a ball, sized so when you sit on it, your hips are the same height as your knees, at a 90 degree angle or slightly higher. I'll also be using two sets of hand weights, something lighter and something heavier. Or if you're just starting out, you can work with your own body for resistance. To better secure the ball and have added traction, you can use a yoga mat, although a regular mat or carpet will be fine. In the first 10 minute workout, we will be concentrating on stability ball exercises for the lower body. In the second 10 minute routine, we will be shaping and strengthening the upper body and torso. In the third workout, we will target the abs. The stability ball is a great tool to define your midsection. Before we begin, let's go over a few important points. You may want to watch the exercise first, then join in. Try and stay in control of the movement at all times. Remember to breathe. Long, deep rhythmic breathing is best. If a movement feels uncomfortable, choose one of the variations which we'll be demonstrating. So do what's best for your body. Concentrate. Pay attention to your form. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. And make sure you have a clear space to work in with no obstacles. Let's concentrate on the lower body. Working out with us are Tanya and Lee San. Through all three 10 minute workouts, Tanya will be demonstrating modifications of each exercise. Now tighten your abdominals, lift up really tall, Pull your shoulders down and back and pull your chin in so everything's engaged. Breathe in, reach up, exhale and pull the elbows down and back. Now give me two circles. Very good, now do that again. Breathe in, reach up, exhale, pull the elbows down and back and circle. Well done, now separate the feet, roll your ball all the way forward and have a nice stretch there for the hamstring. Now roll it back. Step your feet hip distance apart and pick your ball up and stand up tall. Now point your tailbone straight at the floor, pull your shoulders down and back and tighten your abdominals. We're going to start with a set of squats. Let's go. Sit back and lift all the way up onto the balls of the feet when you come up. So when you come down, sit the hips right back behind the heels. When you come up, keep the weight towards the big toe. You've got four more. Breathe with it. Inhale down. Exhale up. Last two. Keep your shoulders pulled down and back. Keep your abs tight. This is the last one. Well done. All right, now bring your ball onto the floor. Transfer all your weight to your right leg and place your left foot on the ball. Now we're going to work leg strength and balance. Stand up really tall. Pull your shoulders back and let's begin. Hips right back behind you and lift the chest. Roll the ball away and then lift up. You want to really concentrate on sitting back as far as you can. You've got three more. Now breathe with it. Inhale down and exhale up. Keep your shoulders pulled down and back. Very good. Now we're going to stay down for eight pulses. Here we go. Two, three, Four, a little lower, four, three, two, and up, and down, two, up, two. Sit the hips right back, keep your chest lifted. Make sure the knee of the working leg is directly above the toe, so don't let your knee roll in or out. You've got two more. Breathe, abs tight. Last one. Now pulse for eight, eight. Seven, six, breathe, four, three, two, other side. Transfer your weight to your left leg, place your right foot on top, and then just find your balance. Here we go. 
sit right back as you roll the ball forward. Now when you reach the arms forward, the shoulders stay pulled down and back. So don't let them come forward like that or hunch. Three more, roll it out and bring it back. Breathe, exhale as you lift. Last one. And now stay down and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, breathe, four, three, two, quick transition, and down, two, up, two. Now sit the hips right back, keep the shoulders down and back, inhale down, and exhale up. Lift the chest even more. Keep your abdominals really tight the whole time. One more. Excellent, now stay down, pulse for eight, seven. Now you're on the home stretch. Maybe you can go a little deeper, four, three, two, and down. Now take the feet into a wide stance. And now just roll the ball from side to side. Four more, four, three, two, and now roll the ball back in between your legs. Bring your legs forward and together. Place one hand on the outside, other hand on the ball. Rotate back the other way. And now we're gonna extend. And up and reverse. Now, if you wanna make it a little harder on your balance, look at the back wall as you rotate. Stay up really tall, don't let the hips rotate under. Breathe and really lengthen. You're working the front of your thighs. These are important muscles to have strong because they hold your knee in good alignment. So really pull the kneecap up. Four more. Three, two, and one. Now separate the feet, rotate the pelvis. Now back the other way. Excellent job. Great, now let's head for the floor. Roll your ball away. Lay down onto your back and rest your ankles and feet right up on top of the ball. Bring your arms out to the side for stability and balance. We're gonna start with the bridge. Now slowly curl up for four counts, hold at the top and lower it down for four counts. Let's take that a little bit faster. Curl up for two and down for two. Now keep doing it like that. Bridges work the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lower back. So it's a great all-round exercise for the backyard. One more time. Good, now we're gonna add into this. Curl up, bend the knees, roll the ball in, push it away, and lower the hips. Lots of control, curl it up. You should be resting on the points of the shoulders and roll it down. Again, come up. Now keep the hips the same height as you roll the ball in and out. That's the way. One more time. Now push down really hard on the ball as you roll it in. That's going to create added resistance for your hamstrings. Now take the left leg, rest the foot on the ball, and we're going to lift the hips up. Here we go. Just the right leg working. Now you can leave that foot on the ball for balance, or you can bring that leg all the way off. Two more. One more, good. Now go straight to the other side. And again, you can leave that foot resting on the ball or you can lift it up. Come right up, keep the hips square and level. Two more, bring that up. Last one. And now go back to the other side. This time you lift the hips up, you roll the ball in, you roll it away and you lower it down. Now you can keep this leg lifted or you can rest the foot, the other foot on the ball. It's up to you. Very good. Two more, now come up nice and high. Keep the height as you roll the ball in. Push down on the ball to create added intensity for the hamstrings. Last 